Hi guys. So I wanted to talk about H. pylori and anxiety. Um, because there was a time where I had major anxiety. I couldn't figure out why. Um, I tried, you know, meditation, but to be honest, my mind just couldn't seem to focus. Mm, and it happened for a good two and a half years and recently I discovered that I have H. pylori so I hope that this video helps someone that has had an onset of unexplained anxiety that just seems to be getting worse or if you're on treatment for it symptoms I have and how I'm feeling so I'm on day 10 of treatment so what is h pylori it's a common bacteria um, that resides in the stomach most people have it but some people are asymptomatic so it doesn't bother them and I'm thinking if you're listening to this you are the lucky few that have symptoms like I did and it can infect your stomach and hide in the mucus lining of your stomach and multiply and multiply and do quite a lot of damage. So how do we get it? We usually get it from childhood and it can infect us through contaminated water, food, utensils. Since it thrives in acidic environments, that's why it's in our stomach. Having an acidic body causes the onset of symptoms and our bodies become acidic not just through food it could be stress that causes a decrease in our ph breathing problems if you don't have enough oxygen in your body through lack of deep breathing that can cause acidity and with food you've got the fatty greasy fried um, packaged sugar is another thing um, drinking coffee lemon water on an empty stomach are always that our bodies become acidic now it survives by producing um, ammonia which then produces urea okay urea is a waste product that's excreted by the kidneys when you urinate so it's the main component of urine. Excess urea you know, it changes or damages protein. Now, damaged or denatured proteins disrupt all the cells activity and sometimes it can just stop them from working completely. When there's high levels of H. pylori and that's when we have the unpleasant symptoms. Now in my case, it started off as extreme anxiety that wouldn't go away just by meditating or taking a deep breath. Acid reflux, which can make breathing and anxiety worse because severe acid causes erosion of the esophagus, okay? And this can cause breathing difficulties, which can cause lung failure. So it's an endless cycle of more acidity, lack of breathing, anxiety, stress, whereby H. pylori thrive even more. Other symptoms I had were, are, um, poor protein digestion, food intolerances, depression also, um, exhaustion, to the point where I couldn't get out of bed, nor did I want to. You know, the most embarrassing symptom that I haven't heard anyone talk about is the unusual body odor. And this is from the waste products that the H. pylori produces. That if it doesn't leave your body through your kidneys, it will be eliminated via fluids through your pores of your skin or through the breath. And that was the start. Um, I went to the traditional doctors to get blood tests. I maybe thought it was a parasite. 
um, and the blood tests all came back normal. I went to a natural healing doctor and yeah, it did help, you know, some of the medication she was giving me, but the symptoms were still there. So at this point, I literally was scared to eat anything. So I just stuck to white rice, salt, um, sometimes olive oil, but it just seemed to have gotten worse because obviously rice is acidic. Um, but my body still had the bacteria. Um, a doctor in the UK prescribed me antidepressants for the IBS. I decided not to take them and since then because she just downplayed my symptoms I took it into my own hands I did some research um, and basically I was just managing my symptoms by supplementing ridiculous amounts of pills what did help is ox bile and I'll leave a link um, in the description box for that because ox bile it has a pH of 7 to 8 which is alkaline and it also helps digest fats and it disinfects the small intestine so it's like triple whammy it really did help me so how I got diagnosed I came on vacation in Turkey my symptoms were getting worse it just seemed as if my intestines were inflamed because to be honest I was drinking coffee in the mornings having fruit juice um fruits and so i just said oh, i'm gonna see a gastrologist and this is the first time i've seen it in these three years of the horrible symptoms um he recommended that i have a colonoscopy and an endoscopy and endoscopy is when they go through your stomach and i just thought oh i don't need an endoscopy it's my colon it's my colon but thank god <laughs> he recommended both and the results came back, I had pylori in my stomach, I had ulcers and damage in the stomach and also the small intestines. I'm so grateful because the medical industry here is so good. I was able to get the procedure done four days after messaging him on WhatsApp and even now, you know, I message him and he responds same day gave me a prescription over whatsapp my treatment is the triple therapy treatment so i have a pr protein pump inhibitor which reduces the acid in the stomach so i take them for 10 days and for the first five days i was on an antibiotic i'm called amosilian and then the last five days i'm on two combined antibiotics which are clarithomycin and metronidazole so i'm on day 10 and <laughs> the first three days were awful honestly i didn't research the diet you're meant to have during this treatment and i was bloated and i had constantly a horrible taste in my mouth the first two days it's like iron slash sulfur and the third day it was just straight sulfur tasting of like almost egg so for the rest of the time i just had a vegetable broth and i'm pretty much vegan vegetarian anyway but i wasn't having any grains it, they were all root vegetables mushrooms because they're alkaline ox bile before every meal which really helped with um bloating etc the major thing is probiotics so i had two at the start of every um, meal if anything just take probiotics honestly and warm to hot water really helped um to clear me out day nine and today are good days because i did an enema in the morning and enemas are just when you insert water into your colon using an enema kit and again that's in the description i've got a link to the um, products i use that really helped me during treatment and i didn't want to do it before day nine to not interfere with the antibiotics doing their work in my colon 
and that's it so i really hope this helped people out there um i have less significantly less anxiety and i do think it's a good thing that i went through this because it's increased my spirituality out of desperation of wanting to stop the anxiety and i'm grateful for that to be honest i've gone closer to god and to myself actually listening to my body giving it rest when it needs giving it proper nutrition before i was vegan then i restricted even more to vegan keto and i just had a strange relationship with food but if anything this has taught me to let go of that obsession addiction to food so i'm grateful i hope you find some positive um out of whatever stage you're at with h pylori and i really want to emphasize if you do have severe anxiety that just seems to be getting worse and worse and worse and people are saying do meditation just breathe listen to your instincts um trust yourself and please get tested or go and see a specialist our digestive system is so important and there are so many ways that it can break down and because there's the gut brain connection it can affect your entire life so just know that you're not alone and i wish you all the best in health and wellness and in life and just know it's only going to get better from now bye guys one last thing um vitamin d protects the mucus layer and the intestines from the infection so i recommend sunbathing getting some sun at least eight minutes of direct sunlight on your skin without sun lotion but obviously be careful if you have fair skin or purchase vitamin d supplements again i'll leave a link in the description box for the best ones i'd recommend